Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are tuning in from around the world. Welcome to the first IHF Live Online Symposium. My name is Courtney Gayen. I'm a member of the IHF Media Group, and I'm the moderator for today's session. Before we begin, I will outline the translation options. We have French, Spanish, and Arabic translation available. Simply click the globe icon at the bottom of your screen and choose your language. And remember to mute the original audio when using the translation function. Arabic translation is available under the Chinese label. The first IHF live online symposium is part of the Virtual Academy recently launched by the IHF to facilitate global online learning and licensing opportunities for the handball community around the world. All of this falls under the umbrella of the IHF Education Center available at ihfeducation.ihf.info. This first live online symposium encompasses 20 lectures presented from top I top handball experts from around the world. Today's lecture is presented by top IHF referees, Matija Gubica and Boris Milosevic from Croatia and Oscar Raluy and Angel Sabrosa from Spain. Please feel free to ask questions throughout the lecture as I will be passing these on to the referees when we have time to stop. And please also note that this video is being recorded and will be available for on-demand viewing later on the IHF Education Center. And with that, we are ready to begin. Over to the referees. Hi to all. Uh, just a moment. We need to share the screen. Okay. Hello to everyone. Good afternoon or good morning. It depends on which kind kind of the position world you are. My name is Boris Milosevic. I'm Matija Gubica. And please also welcome Angel and Oscar from Spain. Please say hello to hello to all of us. Angel, Oscar, you are here? Not yes, yet. friends. Ah, yes. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. Yeah. Welcome to the symposium. <laughs> so, Courtney, thank you for the introduction. So, today's topic is uh, one of the most problematic. problematic and critical topics in modern handball. So, we try to find this 90-minute uh, presentation. We try to find you and give you some solutions, uh, see how is the tasks and the positions and movements around the pivot zone, what are the crucial part and how it's going to should be managed from the referee side and what is allowed, what is not allowed. Uh, I, would, I would just want to say uh, we are doing uh, this uh, in couple for the first time uh, online like now. Uh, we will have probably uh, from one side to another side, uh, but we will give our best to, to uh, transmit you our message uh, about this very uh, specific and then problematic the task for efforts. Um, Mati, I forget to mention, we the, split the, this presentation in three parts. So Croatia will do it first part, the second part is going to do with the Spanish colleagues, and then third part is going to also from the side of Croatia. And in the middle of the part, you will have a, you can ask some questions which will be managed by Courtney or someone else. So we can start with this one position with the pivot zone. So what we want to go, what we want to ask you, is this the pictures what you see it on this? Is this the handball? What we want? Yeah, this is the really good pictures. Uh, in the more this modern handball, there is a lot of the situations like this. And this is that what we don't want to do the, uh, to send and present that kind of the pictures to form our sport. This is not a handball, this is the let's say almost like a judo or something like this, rugby or other sports, and this is not nice to send that kind of the pic picture around the world. And uh, what we mean about uh, that, you will see now in the next uh, clip, it's minutes too, but you will see uh, what we mean when we say th this is rugby. So just just remember this, this is this what we want? <laughs> Lots of pushing, holding. Hitting, pulling. Mm -hmm. 
Ki volt az bocsánat? Átkaroló mozdulat, hogy így hát Az is lehet, hogy életet, és már tényleg utolsó válogatott mérkőzés, én így és felem. So this is the question. Is this a kind of the video or situation that we want to sell to the world and everybody who is watching the handball? Probably not. You know, in the past, in the modern handball, there is a strong body and there is lots of the heating inside of this. So this is not a picture what we want to have and send it to all around the world to see that this sport is almost the killing each other. So this is what we don't want to see. And we want to see clean game and fair play, like uh, you can see in this picture, but uh, give me another one slide. And we want, it's maybe most important, uh, correct and strict rules interpretations, because uh, we have lots of improvements in the last few years, but uh, main important is that we don't need to change uh, rules, uh, we just need to apply them how it should be in the rule book. Okay, all of us in this modern handball know that uh, the pivot players are becoming uh, one of the most important uh, uh, players. So we need to protect them, but also, and sometimes in comparing with this, to protect the pivot players, we also allowed sometimes that too much, uh, too much that pivot players are using this our gift to also kill, let's say, the defender. But we will now find uh, some examples how we can protect the pivot. OK, we're going to just repeat it just uh, once more, once more time. To show, okay, you will see now. Small, grabbing the shirt, and then this is how we need to protect the pivot player. Also, according the opposite side, sometimes the the pivot players are not so friendly with the defender and trying to provoke, not to provoke. They're really dirty in some situations. <laughs> Main point in this clip now is that we understand that what kind of punishments we give to defender, the same applied for uh, pivot players in attack too. So if they do some uh, fouls like this one, only possible decision is uh, attacker foul and uh, two minutes uh, penalty for them. Maybe maybe somebody will uh, say this how how this could be possible. It's maybe the strange, but it's only attacker foul. But this is really dangerous foul from the pivot side, and the decision from the referee is absolutely correct, and it only can be attacker foul and two minutes for the for the uh, for the pivot. This is not allowed in the in the handball. Now we are coming on something from we started on the first clip. What's, let's say, during conversation with everything that everybody of us, all of us, especially with the coaches, need to do with the players. Long holding, no matter where the ball is, just like we want to say, kill the player, kill the pivot, kill somebody. This is not allowed and we don't want to do this. I just want to say uh, long holding, it's uh, only one part of it. But uh, we still have here uh, pulling down, pushing, uh, hitting. Uh, that's everything what we need to observe very strictly. Because if we lose the, 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 uh, from the beginning uh, concentration, we, ha we can have big problems uh, later. Very good decision of the referees, nice signalization, and it, this is how it should be done on the field. And the main question is that uh, defender, 
didn't even try to play on the ball. The, she went only to grab the, grab the player, grab the attacker, and fall down with her. So this is the long holding, no matter what is the beginning of the match, but it must be direct two minutes. This is the only possible decision. So, so let's go. Sometimes we are now going to the uh, sort of the clips which we are going to show you where the defenders are not playing on the ball. They're playing extremely on the body of the pivot player. And it's every moment in every every situation at the beginning of the game, it must be punished with a two minute. So there is the only when, when the defender doesn't want to play on the ball, just to came on the body of the pivot. This is also the crucial parts of this. Look now. Is this correct behavior of the defender? Of course not. You see, the pivot is turning around and the defender is still on the body of the on the body of the pivot. And plus long holding and it's by the rules must be punished with two minutes too. There is many situations like this in, in, in uh, our uh, game and how we will see now in, in uh, next clip. It's really important that we uh, make the line from the really beginning of the match because if we don't do that, later will be uh, many, many situations like this one and we can lose control of the match. Look at the time, look at the score. It's fourth minute of the game. So if we are allowed that kind of the behavior of the defender on the pivot, what's going to happen in a 50, 50 second minute or something yeah. like this? And this then, is cool example. Uh, what we should do now is, is really clear that it's uh, two minutes and then the penalty shoot. And then we, if we do that, we put the line and it's for everybody else, it's clear how we will whistle in this match. So, we are still on the introduction, so there is some aspects related to pivot zone that we should be keep it in our mind. There is uh, seven points what we make it. So, the pivot wants to get the space for the attacker. Another one is the defensive, defensive position. Is it the defender in the front or is coming from the behind or what he's going to do? Third one is long holding, pulling down, pushing, or even hitting. Fourth, oh, it's a little bit anatrophic differences. So it means smaller. smaller, bigger, and something like you should keep it on your mind. Of course, now when we change the, some, change the rules, new tendency, frequent use of the double pivot, especially when we have a uh, seven so, players inside in the field, there is tactical decisions, how to use it and everything. New tendency, attacking player actions, small, small grabbing and then leaving, tricky questions. This is what we need to also focusing on that. And of course, maybe the last and also the one of the critical part of this provocations and overreactions. Sometimes we have provocation from pivot side, but also sometimes we have overreaction from the uh, pivot or maybe the uh, defender who is trying to provoke attacker for or something like this. So this is the, the seventh one is maybe also the crucial part of this in this modern handball because it's coming, coming too fast and everything also. So we need to have a focus on that kind of the levels. Getting the space. You know, everybody wants to get into the space because everybody wants to get, uh, get the score. So the pivot in this modern handball also from the, from the tactical side is getting more and more powerful, more and more, more stronger, because they want to grab the uh, they want to grab the space for the outside players or something like this. Getting the space is fundamental side of the sport. Every sport wants to get the space, open the space to get the score and everything like this. And uh, I just want to say, yesterday uh, in the first presentation, uh, coach 
uh, Bepler said uh, really good. It's all about space, and it is really all about space. And uh, I'm happy to hear that from his side too, because that's only a sign that uh, coaches and referees are on the same line, and it should be like that because we are here, uh, both of us, for for one things, and that's uh, clean and, and modern handball. So normal fighting or normal fighting is one of the one of the the most important things so but using the normal but you will see sometimes that uh, also the pivot are using not so not so good examples how to try avoid and get op open the space for the for their uh, attackers for the players Absolute normal play from the, the, the defender and attacker, but only defender use uh, space, clear decision. But uh, we really need to be all uh, uh, ready for everything on pivot zone because there is many blocks, counter blocks, movements, uh, control, change of opponents, anticipation, marking, sliding, pushing, you know. A pivot zone is a really crucial part of the, the, the handball game and uh, we need 60 minutes to observe it uh, really, really uh, strictly because if we lose control for two, three seconds, can happen everything. Another one is how to, to play to try the best, find the best position. But then what happened? A lawyer struggle for the free space or something like this? Is this the normal? Of course, this is not the normal, <laughs> maybe, but in this situation, absolute correct decision from the referee side. The fight was st really starting from the beginning. And what Matia mentioned in the beginning, we need to focusing from the moment. Now, the fighting is starting also. Look, the referee, he's really focusing on what's matter. Doesn't care where is the ball. He's only focusing on one matter, one thing, which is now mattering, the pivot. And he's following all the time defender and attacker what they are doing. The ball is coming to, to the pivot and what happened? But if he didn't start the following from the beginning, maybe he will miss something. Maybe he will see only small and said, okay, it's only nine meter, nothing else. Two situations now uh, we will see from from defender side and, and from from uh, defender side by, by pushing. It, this is what we are talking about. It's many unexpected situations what we are must be ready because it's uh, lots of fight on the line, uh, lots of trying to to get best position, lots of trying to to cheat the, the referees, and then in situation what you see only possible uh, decision is direct uh, two minutes. Yeah, I like this to cheat the referees. Yeah, very interesting. Many yeah, times, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Look this. Okay. Holding without ball. Uh -huh. Okay, the ball was going through to attacker. to attacker to the pivot, a little bit holding, a little bit pulling down, and then in the moment when he's bowling coming to the pivot, a uh, defender just left the hand. Just no, I didn't touch her. So it's something. So if the referees are not concentrating on the, from the beginning and everything else, it maybe could go pass away and they're going to be goalkeeper throw for this situation. But in this moment, this is absolutely correct decision. I look now. <laughs> there is no intention to play, especially in this clip, ball. It's intention only to, to 
hit the, the, the pivot and it's cannot in this situation uh, it's impossible to not give the, the, the uh, two minutes for this uh, if we do it then we show to everybody that we are in the game we see the, the what happened on the line and uh, how we will control match uh, in, in, with these situations yeah what Mattia told uh, look where is the ball ball is over here and look what's happened here does, does this situation have something with the ball absolutely not and if if we allowed this if we allow this, then we can really go to the big problems during the game and everything else. So this is, oops. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. OK, OK. Well, never mind. Yeah, OK. This is, yeah. In the next two clips, you will see the, the, the... Yeah, well, fine. one more. OK, you see nothing with the playing, even the left wing stopped. And to see what happened. This is. This is not overreacting from the pivot. This is really not overreacting. Sometimes you have the overreacting in this situation, but this is not overreacting. This is really pushing from the uh, from the defender. So we are now coming on this. We are coming on this. Uh, what is really really important, and it's happening in the especially in the last uh, few years, uh, very often, and. Uh, we all referees uh, must be uh, very, very strict about this and then uh, show that we understand uh, what, what's happening and uh, how we will react in this situation. Uh, what's going on? It's going on only one uh, small push in, in, in the, the moment when the attacker should receive the ball. And uh, if you are, again, not very concentrated and uh, you see it's only small push uh, and if you don't observe the situation right, you can miss this. Uh, it could be uh, for you cl clean situation without pushing, and it's obviously it's not. It's a penalty, two minutes, uh, everything absolutely correct. What Matija mentioned, it, uh, this is really the new tendency. Small, small kind of the tricks how to fool, how to try to fool the referees, and if you're really not on the on the right spot, on the right. Uh, viewing position then you cannot see it in this moment maybe some of others will see oh it's nothing happened but there was also pushing from the number five and everything grabbing the shirt also trick number two it's going to happen on the left side of the wing the position is going to happen here you have two pivots same situation, yeah. So from the tactical side. There is two. There is two pivots. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna make the space open the space for the for the player. Oh, back, back. Cannot use. And this is the situation. The left, the left back could not pass anymore. He wanted to pass the ball to the pivot, second pivot. And now what's happened? And this is what we really need to, to have in mind. Uh, again, ball is not the, the, the object what the defender wants to, to, to get. It's only the body of uh, attacker. And in this situation, it's really easy for, for uh, all of us. We don't need to think a lot. If it's uh, hitting on the or pulling a uh, body without the, uh, having the attacker the ball, it's clear. It uh, must be two minutes. OK, we can go. Yeah. Another one? Ah, no, from attacker. From infraction from attacker, people getting space without ball. So we are now going to the, some kind of the zones where we are trying to give the opportunity to uh, pivot to open the space for the attackers but sometimes they are making wrong position it's also they're not so nice and politeful to the defenders so 
some of this. Nice goal. So we are focusing on this. Okay, sound is a little bit. You see, there is the movement from the pivot. The pivot is not on the correct position. Pivot, pivot is too late to be, and now he's almost run to the defender. Defender, you see, and this is illegal contact. Mm -hmm. You see, you see how the how the pivot was making blocking moving with the defender. And defender try to avoid. Look now, you see. Also, long step from the side of the. Follow the feet of the pivot player. And if you are not on the right spot, and if you are not focusing, then you are in a big problem. We can go to another clip one. Opa. Okay. Little. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Difficult yeah. situation. Yes, Angel, you are too serious. And one more. Everybody's fighting for the space. Attacker wants to make incorrect block. Uh, defender is grabbing him, and it's really special, special situation. And the last one from this part. Okay, defender. Watch defender. Okay, now we can uh, maybe it's probably the decision is correct because there was a right uh, hand of the on the on the uh, defender, but there is also really a little bit overreacting from the yeah yeah. yeah. But we just want to show you on these four four clips what everything uh, is happening uh, in, in the games and on what the referees need to be focused. Uh, all the time because it's many, many, many situations, and if uh, we don't see them right, uh, we can uh, have totally opposite uh, decision of what it should be. And two more. Do we have two more? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Clips. Okay. So we are now going to the part when the pivot getting the space when they're having the ball, rolling over the defender using the body. So you, as I as I mentioned it on before. In this modern handball, there you have strong pivots, you have strong defenders, you have they, they use their bodies for everything, almost lots of the kilos and everything. So they are trying to provoke and do whatever they want. Look now the, the hand of attacker. Absolutely correct position of the defender. defender. There is illegal contact of the of the attacker. Left hand 
into the upper part of the body of the defender. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Very good observation of the referees and, and excellent decision. And this is maybe important. Look, look the defender. Defender is really first on the spot and he's really in front of the pivot player. So it's it cannot be a goal or it cannot be only it can be attacker fall. Hmm, so, so. <laughs> and this situation also is very interesting, but also one of the, one of the dif difficulties. The pivot is really pulling the head, pushing with the hand defender but it's really from the side of the defender is really overreacting. But this is uh, once again showing how difficult part is uh, pivot. pivot, yeah. Okay, that's it so from our side for, for now. For Croatia, this is we are we are finishing. Uh, Angel and Oscar, please, uh, can you join Continue. us? Yes, okay. Courtney, does we have any some kind of the questions or something like this? We're gonna so I'm gonna stop the share so Angel, you can take the floor, okay? Uh, we do have a few questions. Shall we do some questions now? Yeah, of course. Yeah, first. No um, someone has asked about the pivots and the defenders uh, fighting throughout the match, and how do you try to? how can the referee try to prevent situations where you're going to have to give a lot of two minutes? What do you do as like personality and rule wise to get this under control early? Yeah. Yeah. You, you will this is at the end, at the end. <laughs> at the end, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, then we can come back to that. Um, <laughs> Well, then maybe we should just wait until the end and yeah, of course. <laughs> something similar. <laughs> if you're going to answer that. <laughs> oh, I can, please. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. So, after probably one of the key factors in our sport, getting a space, uh, when we are speaking about the uh, pivot zone, it's important to know the defensive system. There are different types of defensive tactical behaviors on pivots. Sometimes it's a tactical option to defend the pivot from behind, like uh, we can see, uh, continuously closing the spaces to turn himself and face for goal. Another option is defense on line or defense ahead, anticipating, cutting lines of passes and closing gaps between first lines and pivots, like we, we can see here. But of course, this is not our task to, to choose the, the tactical defense system, but our task is to see the situation and to be ready for everything. We can see this example. Because sometimes uh, to find yourself from behind of the pivot is not an option. It's uh, natural things of our game. We can see this example. Okay. Yes, this is a very good example. Get in the space and fighting for the pain. First from behind, in online, in front, and suddenly at the end, fantastic movement for the attacking pivot. At the end, the defender the player is from behind, and the follow push, 
and uh, the referee is completely ready for that. Very good decision and very good uh, situation for everybody, for the spectator and both uh, players. So, the message, in our opinion, for everyone must be clear. When the defender is from side or from behind and the attacking pivot has the ball in front of the goal, the best decision is don't touch. The, the possibilities of the defender were just before, before to receive the ball, get in the space, cutting the passes lines. But when you are from side or from behind and the pivot, the attacking pivot has the ball in front of the goal, the best decision, we can see this example. You can see now in this video, illegal defense, especially in the pivot, back, holding, pulling down, it's not possible in our hand. The idea is very clear, we need clean, humble for everybody. They protect, they spectate. Yeah. Uh, Matia and Boris were speaking about this long holding, pulling down, pushing in the introduction. Um, it's clear that uh, this uh, concept, long holding, pulling down, pushing, today is clearer for everyone after a very good job from the PRC and from the last uh, World Championship and Olympic Games uh, about the IHF competitions. Everybody is working in the same line. It's not possible long holding, pulling down and pushing, but uh, still we can see situation like this. You can see now, uh, this is the first village in the game. It's important put clear line for both teams. Maybe yellow card no is enough in that moment. We need one suspension, one suspension. And send very clear information for both teams. It's clear. Long holding, pulling down from behind. At the beginning of the match, correct decision, no doubt about this should be direct to minutes. The question is, where is the ball? Another kind of situation, sandwich style. Sandwich style is a concept that the referees use uh, between us uh, to call the help, defenders help, sometimes long holdings, hitting, grabbing, is not only for one defender. The defender's help is very typical, of course, in our sport. It's a tactical, it's a defensive tactical uh, that every coach works every day, but it's a little bit dangerous for the referees. Why? Because when several defenders players are coming to the attacker pivot, Sometimes we can see images like this. This situation is very complicated. the concept. The defenders help and at this moment it's very dangerous and we must very concentrate about this. The sandwich style is the name, the special names that uh, referees use uh, about these situations. <laughs> Another 
other example. Sangu Chastal. best option in this uh, situation? Those are really complicated situations for the referees because a lot of players around only one pivot uh, happens a lot of things and we must analyze the hardness, the duration and the consequence of this help. The last example, uh, sandwich style, the last, last example. Great athlete, this one step pops up and he gets the goal. And there's about four men to blame for this challenge. We'll see which one receives the punishment. As Marcinic needs to go down. Looks like a clash of heads. And a two-minute suspension goes to Ludovic Fabregas. We'll have to look. Oh, there's a nasty sight. That was a heavy collision of the two heads from Timotej Ngasson and Mihailo Marcinic, two big boys, literally coming head to head. Let's see that one again. Oh, and it looks like actually Cedric Sarando was the guilty party there. It's fair, no unfair, but the consequences are very hard for our sport. It was a bit, maybe one punishment is missing. The other problem, the teacher grabbing problem, um, of course, last year, it's another part of our game or, uh, or of our referee task that is improving, improving, and today the things are better about this. But we can see a still situation like this. This is not possible, of course. Matthias Boris said before, no ball at all. Where is the ball? The only answer here is two minutes, direct two minutes. Both defender against one attacker. This is not possible. This is a very bad image for our sport also. Look at the, the, the attacker player, the pivot. Look at the T-shirt. Long, long t-shirt. No possible in our handball. We need reaction for goal referee. Free throw not enough. Maybe one punishment, clear punishment. Two minutes. Clear. At least. Sorry. And also, the grabbing shield problem is not only for the defenders. Look at this. Did you see? Great, very fast reaction from the goal referee. Many times the same, uh, the same tool, both players, both teams, and the same The player used the hand, all the desire, but this one. In our opinion, this is the way to control this situation. Sorry, guys. Sorry? Can I just interrupt for one minute? Can you turn the volume of the videos down a little bit? It's hard to hear your explanation sometimes. Ah, uh, the loud, yes? 
Yes, just okay. want to be able to hear you. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was saying that, in our opinion, this is the correct way to control these situations. Very fast, very quick reaction from the referees. At the first time, when we see the attacking pivot holding the, the t-shirts, small holding, but very fast, very quick reaction. Look at the minute. The first 10 minute. And remember, especially the younger referee, both rules for both teams. And the last example. Shame on you. This is a very long, very long holding to here. Complete without ball. He's trying to make lose the position for the attacking player. And then yellow card after the goal, no is possible in modern handball. Yes, man. This is, was a, a old, old clip. Uh, when the defender player wants to to control the pivot, he must know that uh, it's possible only to touch, to touch. When I start to grab, sometimes this is the beginning of the problems, and um, we have to be very concentrated about this. And the communication uh, from the referees to the to the players is very important to avoid this. Another topic is the anthropometric differences. Um, Boris and Matia say the higher, lower. It's very clear with these uh, nice pictures. In our sport, it's very typical uh, to put the the higher pivot. Very close to wind zone, to the to the close to the to the small player, and the problems are coming. Look at this example. Look at this in wing situation. Very bad decision from. Referee. Yeah. This is a complete uh, bad decision. Attacker clear pushing the defender. And start push, hold, push, hold, and the end the, the attacker. The first part, he, he put the elbow on defender and then pushing. A very high, strong, and heavy pivot has the same right to play, being protected for the rules by the rules. Uh, as a lower or lower weight player, and of course, and vice versa. And the problems are coming when we don't control these situations. The reaction from the referee, in this case, it was my, my decision. Maybe it's better another decision, another yeah. technical decision, another punishment and disciplinary decision. Why not? Another example, without ball, higher and lower player. Look at the pivot situation. It's also very bad. You can see now. Very good position for the attacking pivot. He is very high. And the lower player catch, pull, I'm and falling, down. I'm falling down. Yeah. Maybe free throw not enough. Of course. <laughs> uh, this is a normal in our sport from the last Olympic Games. Uh, but this is not a problem, seven against six. This is not a problem for the referees. Only we must to be ready for everything. And we must key in this clip. It's is, all square, uh, but the Oscar suspension said. is served out. The goalkeeper is back in again. 
attitude from the field referees. This is the key. Also, a very good, useful of the headset uh, is very important for us. Another standard situation, seven against six. Seven against six. We must be concentrated on the blocks from the pivot. And the, the end of the situations usually is from backs and from wings. Look at the example, it's a normal standard situation and referees must be very concentrated in the blocks because a one to one pivot against the opponent is not usual when we are playing seven against six. That's the normal situation is to open the space and to blocks and they finish the situation from backs or probably from, from wings. Look at the example. Seven against six, you have maybe two hot areas. It's difficult for the referee. Uh, we are going to speak about the new tendencies. Um, this is a very complicated situation also for us. The last uh, three, two years, it's very common to see the attacker pivot grabbing the tissue of the defender just in the moment of the shoot. Uh, we can see several examples. Ramon show us, uh, showed us uh, several examples yesterday, and we have now uh, four examples more. We can see in a slow motion. Who is the guilty? Now and now. And the result was a seven meter uh, plus two minutes from for the defender. Sorry. Another example. Exactly the, the same, same decision. The same situation and the same decision. The problem is we see an acrobatic shoot and we, we think sometimes that this acrobatic shoot comes from the, from the fault for the, for the defender, but the real situation is completely different. One tip for younger referee, maybe it's a good idea. You put your focus to begin the situation, not the, only the final the situation, to begin the situation. Who is the guilty in the first time? This is the question for teaching. One more. Look at this. This is pretty complex for me, please. Look at the reaction of the player, the defender. And last one. The defender, it's impossible to understand it. For similar situation, and is for Worm's decision is maybe attacking fall. This is a real, real new tendency last three, two years, and this, they are coming a lot, a lot, a lot of situation like this. Um, sometimes the problem is not only from the shift, also to the body. Look at this situation. Pasa de nuevo a la esquina para que vuelva a empezar la circulación de balón. Lanzamiento de Adrián Figueras, bien defendido ahora por parte de Diego Alves. Ataque pivot, he understands that it was necessary more, something more from the referees. Esférico para Borja Lancina. Se mete en la permuta Adrián Figueras, va a haber falta de Diego Alves. 
y dos minutos. Excluido a Thiago Alves. But look at the real situation in a slow motion. And who is the real guilty? Why is uh, the defender player guilty? Who take in the first time? The attacker or the defender? It's dangerous for another player of the Granoyer. Could we see? Real complex situation for us. Uh, this is another part very complicated for us. Uh, when the duels start to be hard, harder, harder and harder, the question is, when interrupt this? We must uh, to, to go on the, the, the match or we must to whistle the first infraction or we must to whistle the harder one? Uh, we can see several examples. But there you go. You got to put it behind you and move on. Norway will be back to uh, just one down now. And now, Mural races in on the line. Goalkeeper harder, is still out there. Harder, harder, harder. Johansson comes on again. He's trying and to inject a bit of pace. Oh, a bit of space, but that's an attacking Holy foul fire. called against Mural. Germany break. Vida. Harder, 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 and finally, the solution in these situations never comes themselves. We must to decide. This is very important and to stop the, 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 the hardest duels in the pivot area. And remember, you put clear line to the beginning of the game. You have wonderful 10 minutes for put several lines, disciplinary, seven meters. Oh, uh, Ramon was speaking about this, overreactions and provocations, uh, a lot of minutes yesterday. And also in pivot zone is a real complicated and real new tendency the last years. And for us, our in our job, uh, these situations are really, really unfair situations. We can see a lot of example about this. Uh, overreactions and provocations comes from both sides, from the attacker and from the defenders. Look at the first. Look at the defender, the defender said nothing referee. This is not possible. Can you see the replay? Complete alarm. And now see the way to falling down. He was looking for the seven meters plus the punishment. This is complete unfair. This is not possible in our sport. He said, my friend, this is not possible. And this situation generates a very bad atmosphere between, between, between the players. But why is a little harder? The bad country has enough in this situation. Okay, but we need punishment. It's a very good position for the attacker pivot and um, clearly from behind, nothing to do from the defender. And he tries to, to very unfair situation, 
this is a clear provocation. Provocation is to create a new situation that is complete and fair. Uh, overreaction is exaggerate, to exaggerate a small contact or contact or normal contact and to exaggerate the, the consequences. This is the difference between overreactions and provocations. Another thing, do, do you remember our for, uh, point number four? <laughs> We can see more examples about this. <laughs> the block of the pivot, complete the stop with the trunk and the way to falling down of the defender looking for the offensive but what looking uh, the hungarian player go go to the flow why the blocking or nothing special and after that he started to to see the referees asking something to the referees more examples Sorry. Put him off. It's enough for a nine meter ball, and the ball is in play. Zhitnikov again facing Scuba. This is a real, real complex situation for the referees. When the defender player feels uh, a small contact and the way to falling down. Ball is with Bobach. Look at Banhidi. Banhidi's goal. That's brilliant play, Banhidi. He could have given it to him twice there. But he just waited, Bombac, dropped it into the big ball on the line. Look at the block on Shishkarev. They have got to sort that out. They need... Very complicated. Because we can see, we can see the arms, but this is a real hold. Or is an overreaction from the defender? And you can see the bad atmosphere between the, the players for these situations, the overreactions, the provocations. When the, the defender looking for the face of the referee, why? Why is possible? But the referee has verbal caution. This is not possible you're behaving in our humble. Please. No holy action, no more. Also, the, the attacking uh, pivot looking for the punishments. This is very also very unfair situations. Look at the pivot. Can they keep this up for six? Look at the, at the pivot. Oh, this is very common, and this is not fair. Did you see? We must to control this situation. Verbal caution, anticipating, uh, eye, eye to eye, face to face. Look at the pivot. This is very unfair situation. Look at the pivot. Nothing happened. He's looking for a punishment. He don't play today, Humble. This is not possible. This is the first time attacking fall and verbal caution. Uh, one typical pro problem from the referees. Uh, when a contact is a real fall and when a contact is a no real fall. With pivot, with pivot situation, we usually put the, the low, the, the line of the seven meter uh, very lower. We can see several examples. We can see in a slow motion. This was a real fall. In seven meter line, in, the, in our line of the seven meter decision, 
we must to, to demand a, a, a high quality, high level, not cheap seven meters. And it's very typical in pivot situation. Remember, Hamba is a contact sport, but a small contact many times is nothing. Sometimes the best decision is uh, Aventage. Play on. Play on. We usually see acrobatic uh, <coughs> shoots or falling down shoots, and we think that it's coming from a fall, but the real situation is not a fall. Last example. Sinrich, Karalek, look at the block, but he goes to Kulesh, into Karalek again as he turns. Great save, but the ref it's going to be a seven. Right into play between the two Belarusians. Look at this. Nice hands. Karalek turns. Foul. Didn't see that myself. But Sinrich, Duchabayev. Karalek, look at the block. Look at the, the, the way to defend. He's very, very correct. Looking for the ball, only looking for the ball. But he goes to Kulesh, into Karolek again as he turns. Great save, but the referee says it's going to be a seven meter ball. Right into play between the two Belarus. With this, your line. Russians look. Minutes. Yeah, this is a fantastic way to defend. Looking for the ball. And after that, absolute nothing. The defender has Karolek. And this is a acrobatic shoot. No goal. Turns. Crowd. Didn't see that myself, but okay. Did you buy it? From my side, Breco. Okay. Matia Boris. Wait a second, coming. Okay, we are back. Courtney. Conclusions. No conclusions, yes, okay, just wait, 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 good, good. good thing. Uh, we do have a few questions, but I'm not sure if we should ask now or wait to see the rest of your talk because maybe you're going to answer some of them. Oh, we'll maybe see. wait, then we have only five, six more slides and then uh, we can go on questions. I think that's better. Just a moment okay. to, to, to share the screen. Okay, we are back online. Yes, are you? Are you? Yes, okay. So, the question or follow up question is how to control the pivot zone. As you know, the PRC and IHF has the really clear rules again, and we don't need to change about the pivot uh, player. Somebody mentioned this, uh, we have one question, how to control the pivot zone. This is the really question of the, all of the questions. From the beginning of the match, we really have a, lots of the tools how to manage the pivot zone. But only what we need to do is start from the beginning. Sometimes from the referee side, we use our personality, our experience, our everything to try to handle it in some kind of the situation. But sometimes it's going to escalate it in one moment. And this is where we cannot anymore use our body language or something like this. Sometimes with the body language, we can accomplished to the end of the match during this, but in modern standard of the handball, probably not anymore yet because it's faster, stronger and everything. So the rules are really strict, really clear, and really we don't need to change them. It's on our side to how to control, how to control the punishments and everything else. So I will show you one more, one more time. In this kind of the, in the modern style of the handball, yellow cards. Let's say in this situation, this is a gift for the defender. Really, what we try to mention it all to uh, all the time with our lecture. Where is the ball? Look, there is no ball. In. It's going. It's coming to the pivot. Defender is really against against the attacker. Look at now, it's pushing. It's clear. 
it's clear two minutes. And this is what we don't want to do. Never mind that it's a 10 minute or it's a second minute or it's a third minute or seven. This is not a situation for the yellow card. And we just need to point uh, one more thing. Uh, this is uh, with yellow cards, that's uh, something what is uh, a strictly uh, strictly rule from, from PRC that uh, we, are, we are allowed to give uh, six yellow cards in the game, but that's past. Uh, in modern handball, uh, now tendency is uh, two, three yellow cards, and it's what's mo most important in the uh, right situation. There is no anymore giving yellow cards just, just to, to give them and to have uh, six yellow cards uh, given uh, on the game. That's that's wrong. That's past. And in modern handball, uh, we use now uh, two, three yellow cards maybe in the game and in the right situation to give to everybody uh, uh, in right moment information what today will be allowed and what will not be allowed uh, in this game. So uh, we all need to be very careful, uh, especially young referees who is uh, coming. Uh, you need all to teach uh, from, from uh, these clips uh, many things. Uh, try to be uh, modern style ref referees because uh, there is uh, nothing else anymore. That's it, you know, in the future, it will be only like this. And this is strictly PRC uh, criterion and we all need uh, to, to, to follow only this one. Okay, let's nice. go another one. So, some, what, yeah. yeah, what Matja mentioned, it is, uh, we have the yellow cards. Yeah, okay, this is not a topic for the, the progressive punishment. is not a topic of the, today symposium. But uh, sometimes we need to interrupt uh, less the game as is possible. So don't, don't break the flow of the game. Just leave the players, leave everything, just floating, just the game. As it is just uh, when we are now here on the yellow card that's something else what what it's strictly uh, from from prc uh, prescribed uh, there is no any more yellow cards uh, after uh, Goal. goals you know it's it, it cannot be it's something what happened in the past all new referees around the world who is watching now or uh, uh, coaches must have that on mind that's uh, Something what we some sometimes in the past do, uh, it's not possible uh, to do it now. And this is what we see uh, when it's something what we saw in the last clip for two minutes. Then it's for two minutes. You know, you cannot give yellow card because it's only uh, start of the match uh, because you think now it's po possibility to give a yellow card. No, if it's in the rules, something what we saw two minutes, then it's two minutes. Okay, so we are going to show some clips. So tell me, when we compare these situations, mm -hmm. we will start from the beginning. When we compare these situations, can somebody tell us what's really happened here? Nothing? Okay, this is maybe stronger, but that kind of the situation during the game, we will have lots of probably. So this is the how we control. Is this going to be in a 57 minutes to minute? Hard. And of course, and the question of all of the questions, two yellow cards in the same attack. That cannot be possible. So then we are going now to how to use the yellow cards using the pivot zone on the proper way. Have a big role to play, play for self-off. So the big role to play, play for self-off. Home team. Patrick Clay's now been called against Iceland. Look this. This in this moment, the referee should give the two minutes. It was really pushing from behind and taking the down of the pivot. Just to clarify again. Another big role to play. Play for self-off. Home team. Patrick Clay's now been called against Iceland. Look this. Another 
Yeah. Opa. Oh, I missed one. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah. Sorry. Technical issues. Look now. Now it's kind of pulling down. And the attacker maybe tried to play the ball, but when he saw that the attacker is pulling down and everything, he could not pass the ball to the pivot. Yeah, and this is what we spoke about. Don't stay, don't change decision. You see, it is be beginning of the match. It's six minutes uh, of, of the match. It's 2-1 result, but that's never mind. If something is two minutes in the first minutes, it's uh, something is uh, two minutes in, in 25th or 55th, it's two minutes. There is no need to, to, to adapt ourselves uh, to situations uh, on time. And that's uh, not only there is no chance, that's completely wrong. We just need to be strict with the rules and in, in the rules is everything described. And we are seeing last uh, few years doing very strong uh, with, with uh, top couples on, on this issue. And this uh, must be a line for everybody in the world uh, for, for uh, progressive punishments. This Clear is, two minutes. This is what we want to, to try to follow, hold this presentation, how to follow. This is the really long, too long cool. holding and then pulling down the, the attacker for the other side. Yeah, Distribution something. between the referees, yes, as you know, as we change the rules, there is seventh, seventh player in the field, there is two pivots, there the, the tactical decisions from the coach side, they are using uh, much, much more now, this seventh player for the... And, and Boris, just uh, want, want to say, in, in, in the past, it was the, the, the uh, let's say, some uh, task responsibility that uh, everything around the pivot zone is a uh, task of goal referee. Uh, that's past two. Uh, in today, modern handball, uh, we need to adapt from the minute to minute, from the situation to situation, and, and the, there is no any more strict uh, responsibility uh, uh, difference between goal referee and field referee. I want to say that even field referee in many situations can give yellow card two minutes, uh, even whistle attacker foul, that's no problem. That's modern handball, and we all need to adapt on those situations. And now you will see what we mean. Just look now at the, the pivot zone. Fight, and who will make the decision? Absolute correct. Great decision, good signalization. Feel referee make it, and there is not that's not mistakes. That's a new trend, and we we need to follow it. Same. Yeah, yeah we have just to it. So, all good. Okay, we can go. Another? No, no, back. We have one more. Okay, this one. Planet. Genau so was hat man von denen erwarten dürfen, weil die sich einfach enorm entwickelt haben. Agina Galde, Latte. Look, look now this situation. What happened? Look. This moment, as Mattia mentioned it, it's now the distribution task about uh, field referee or the, or, the goal, or the goal referee. This situation may be, it was too much from the field side of the referee. The complete control of the situation is from the side of the uh, goal referee. And maybe in this moment, this is the not so, not so good decision that moment. Look, okay, fighting. It was before, but like we said, tricky, tricky one what happened, but this decision should and, be uh, made. Put, put me just once again, and what we spoke now before, Boris, want to say that that uh, uh, we can discuss about uh, decision, good or bad, 
but the task distribution in this situation was not so good on the field. Uh, it can happen uh, even if to, to top uh, level referees like this one, uh, but uh, we need to be very careful uh, about uh, our task uh, distribution because a situation like this we should avoid uh, whenever it's uh, necessary and whenever we can do, do to, to avoid them. So okay. One, one interesting uh, clip. Very too. interesting one, Mitch. So, as you know, from the beginning, the referees should be concentrating on all of all of the aspects of the field, what's happening on the field. Sometimes it's not so easy as it looking on the TV when you're sitting in front of your television. But sometimes we need to find who is the really guilty guy in this some kind of the situations. <laughs> this video example uh, is a uh, real proof uh, why is uh, pivot uh, zone and pivot play so interesting and so difficult for uh, all referees you really need to be concentrate uh, every, every every second of the match because uh, if you don't see what happening from the beginning a later decision can be uh, wrong and that's uh, not good for for nobody on the field everybody's falling down everybody's yeah, yeah, screaming yeah. everybody wants to win it Decision is probably good, but if uh, we, we didn't uh, see it from the beginning, then we can have a big problem. So we have, okay, yeah. The, is this the. Bad, no? bad, bad, bad. Yeah. And this is one criteria for all everybody, for everybody in all of the matches. So we need to start from the really early ages and everything. No sound? This good? This is the picture from the beginning from our presentation where we show what we don't allow in our sport. Is this something with a handball? No. This is more like wrestling or something like this. Then we have another one. Where is the ball? There's the no ball. Angela Doskar mentioned something sandwich style. This is also one of the sandwich style how to kill the pivot but what's uh, most important uh, in, in this clip uh, what we saw uh, that's our friends uh, Angela and Oscar uh, is the same situation on opposite side it is the same uh, decision is the same correct decision uh, super body language and this is how it should be done on the field when something like this happened so first situation on yellow side, all clear to everybody, two minutes. And now a little bit later, almost the same situation but the on three, other side. But three defenders only. But again, same decision, same explanation, everybody understand everything. And this is how it should be done. And this is so this is something what what Courtney asked. So so conclusion. Yes, Courtney, come on, please welcome back. We are gonna finish very soon. Uh, so this is conclusion. Distribution with the, for the referees, constant observation. Believe me, it's not so easy. Constant observation of the pivot zone during the concentration during the 60 minutes and anticipation and involvement. 60 minutes. 60 minutes also. Anticipation is one of the most key factors to success to control the pivot zone. Communication with the players, body language. We mentioned it at the beginning of the conclusion section that body language is one of the part, one of the parts of our tools that we can use it how to prevent and control pivot zone. And the fifth one showed the line from the very beginning. You saw the in this uh, 
presentation some kind of the clips they have the at the beginning of the match not so very interpretation of the rules of from PRC it was the subjective opinion from the referee side in that moment they give the yellow card but they need to give the two minutes so this is how do we need to establish the line what is allowed what is not allowed what's going to happen after this consistency in the direct two minutes applying the rule 8.4 this is what we need to do it also this is also what we want to make a con conclusion at the end to all of us, not only the referees, also to the coaches, uh, especially for the coaches who are working with the young referees, for, for with the young players who are working to start to learn them from the beginning how to defend on a legal way, not on an illegal way, on a legal way, what it's allowed, what it's not allowed. And of course, in the seventh personality, personality and experience. I think this is the really one of the most things that we need to have all the referees how to manage how to keep the control during the game especially the pivot side and i think all all, all uh, this the, this seven uh, key key uh, elements is uh, something what should be uh, for all uh, young referees uh, uh, what uh, on what they will do and uh, all what you see in this pre presentation is uh, we must be clear it's uh, our opinion but it's strictly prc uh, tool uh, how it should be done uh, in the future there is no other way there is no something uh, i will do it uh, how i think it should be it must be done like this and and uh, many uh, referees even coaches what boris say uh, can teach the, the the players what's allowed in defense what's allowed in uh, attack uh, how to be better and then to follow uh, this modern style of uh, refereeing so, Courtney, thank you. Questions? Okay, uh, because we're a little short on time, we will just do two questions. Fantastic. We have another lecture starting at three o'clock, everybody, in case you're mm -hmm. not aware. Um, so, a lot of people are asking um, about the punishment for attackers in these situations you're talking about. People I'm noticing people seem to feel a bit uncertain about what is, what is a yellow card, what is two minutes in these situations where the attacker is provoking the situation. Can you talk a bit about this punishment for attackers? Look, uh, uh, there is no defending or attacking uh, who is who. It's only one uh, key what we have in the mind, that's rules. So whatever happened on the defense or in attack uh, and it's against the rules, we need to punish that. You know, so um, it's usually that uh, we punish defenders, but it's uh, normal. It's many fighting more from defender side. It's uh, six on one in the, the, the defense. But if attacker do some things, and we could see that on the on the some slides, uh, the same punishment uh, is for uh, him. It's then attacking foul in two minutes or uh, something even more for uh, attacking. But, you, yeah, yeah. You cannot expect that. Uh, for the all situation is uh, responsible only uh, the defender. Okay, the, some, in most situations, defender is one of the guilty, let, let's say, but in maybe in 10%, uh, also the attacker is really pushing this defender and try to provoke him to make some kind of direction. So we have in one slide uh, from Angel, uh, that there is uh, also introduction that it was the really dangerous foul from the pivot side. It was elbow into part of the neck and something and also there was a attacker fall and there was also was a two minute suspension for the uh, for the for the attacker difference between the yellow and the two minutes hmm. it's a nice question but when you compare it's always the question where is the ball and what is the intent to see and what is the question of what defender want to do with this pivot if he really tried to fight really with a fight for the ball, not for the body or for the head, or I don't know what, just to try to fight for the ball. Yes, we can go with the yellow card. But in this situation, what we saw in this, some kind of the clips, this is really for the two minutes and everything. So this is uh, what, I, what we told on the end conclusion. We need all of us, all of us, the coaches, the referees, everybody, start changing our uh, mind from the beginning. Yeah. From the beginning, so this is the, the opportunity for the, young ref, uh, for the young referees, for the young uh, players to learn really how to play the handball or 
in a few, few years, we will have the situation like what we have from the first slide, where is a fighting and there's wrestling, not a handball. I will just say about yellow cards that uh, maybe will be easier for, for uh, younger referees who is watching maybe. Uh, yellow cards we top level referees have in mind. It's something less uh, from the border from two minutes, you know. It's uh, same uh, punishment, but not for two minutes. But then with the yellow card, you show to everybody that you see that, that it's uh, not allowed. And the next time, this will be two minutes, you know. But Maybe. Boris, Boris, Matia, one advice more. Uh, for us, the key, the key is to control the 8-4 rule. Yeah. This My is very important in all levels, in all levels. And it's a very good advice for the young referees to work very hard with the 8-4 rule, the direct two-minute situation. Mm -hmm. uh, our goal is uh, to show exactly the same punish with the same actions in all competitions, in all matches, and in all levels. Yes. And this is, uh, this is our very difficult job today. Yes, I agree. Another question, second question. The last yes. one, I hope. Yes, we do one more. Um, just about, because obviously you all referee very top matches, but what about applying these in lower level leagues? And the rules are not different, of course, but the players are different. So can you talk a bit about these same rules with lower level? Angel, can you have something on this? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, the rules have, are, are the same, but the difference uh, we find in the speed and mainly in the speed. The, our, our game today is a very, very speed, uh, high speed sport, and this is very important for us. And we must to protect the ring, the high ring, the intensity and the speed of, of our sport because uh, it's the way to obtain a uh, more and more spectators, more and more fans. This is very important for us, and referees must to work about this. Uh, Ramon told about these uh, several things yesterday in the in the presentation. Uh, the speed is a, a very big difference between high level and lower level, and of course the contacts and the consequences of these contacts. This is very important to find the difference between the when is a real fall in the high level the falls uh, uh, must be very, very clear. And the lower level, the contacts and the, the consequences of these contacts, it's normal to whistle more falls in the, in the lower levels. Uh, the referees must work about this. Ah, only one thing, the rules is the same, but the most important thing is to train it to a special skill for head, the stress. But the, we, we are nervous in, in top level, why, why not? But it's possible uh, you training uh, stress, if I, but, but the, 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 the rule is the same, of course. But the problem is the same. After uh, 20 years, we have a lot of experience, but uh, it's important uh, and other things. The rules and, and other things, confidence, a lot of uh, special uh, things. I agree. Yeah, yeah. maybe uh, J, yeah, this is the conclusion maybe to question. We need to all to change our mindset, you know, that uh, especially when you are working with a young, you, you told you, the question was how we, how to have a difference between top levels and the lower levels, uh, how to find the song. There's really no line to how, how to find, how to handle it because, but this is the only one rules, nothing else. So this is need to adapt all the coaches, all the referees and everything on the level, what you are listening or what you are playing. So this is the only, question i cannot we cannot compare on the highest and then the lower so probably yes probably to angel said with uh, this um, 20 experience, 20 years experience we will go to the little bit we will will cover the, go with the common line so you go because you can handle it but when you are going on the high level then you need to have lots of the experience and everything so there is no there is no universal unique, yeah. unique answer or universal answer how to handle this situation mm -hmm. All right, uh, we'll have to stop there because we do have another lecture coming up at three o'clock. That's with Mats Olsen about goalkeeper training, basic concepts in a different way at three o'clock European time. And thank you very much to all our referees and thank you to our participants in this lecture. Just to remind you, this is being recorded and will be on the IHF Education Centre, so you will be able to access it later. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.